Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. What if before you ever hammered in a nail, drove in a screw or cut a hole, you could see what's behind the wall? Well, that's the promise of the Wallabot. Stick around and I'll show you what this can do for you. All right, for this, I mocked up a wall to just give you the typical types of materials that you would use. The Wallabot works beautifully with half inch um, drywall material, gypsum board, uh, applied to stud uh, structures, either steel or wood. So what we did is we went ahead and applied this piece of gypsum board, and then we applied uh, in a wall cavity that's approximately three and a half inches deep. Studs are about 24 inches wide. We went ahead and applied like here's Romex wire that's hanging down, typical that would be inside that's hanging down and behind here. Here's a piece of metal conduit that's back away from the wall a little bit. This is PEX pipe, uh, plastic plumbing pipe that is very common now in standard buildings. And it actually has water in it to emulate the density. And then of course you have just the standard wood stud and the steel stud here that you can now look and see whether or not the sensor will find it correctly. To get started, you'll need to download the app and you can either do that from the Apple Store or from the Google Play Store. Once it's installed, then you go ahead and pair the devices. All right, let's go ahead and get the device set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is power up the unit down in the bottom here. There's the purple little press switch. You're gonna get a red indicator saying it's coming on. Then it'll go blue saying it's getting ready to search and to pair. We're gonna go ahead and press in and say, uh, let's go ahead and pair. If you're doing it the first time, you would scan the QR code on the back of your unit. It would use an, a unique identifier and then the two would get connected. We're gonna instead reconnect what we've already done. It's pairing to Wi-Fi right now. So the two are talking to each other pairing created their own little bitty Wi-Fi network. So it's connecting to the device. Indicates it's connected. And now what we're gonna need to do is calibrate. Okay, the next step is to calibrate. And just to make this easier for you to see, we put the phone on a tripod over by Rob. So you can see what the phone is displaying, but we're gonna go ahead and press the calibrate button. And then I'm gonna put the unit on the wall and start running it in a circular motion. And when I do, if it's too tight, it'll tell me a wider circle and it'll indicate when a calibration is occurring. All right, we've now got calibration. Now that's calibrated, you have two choices of the imagery you wanna see on your display, your paired phone. And in this case, we're gonna just use the images one because it's giving you an idea of what's behind the wall with a pictorial representation. And so in this case, we're gonna start scanning left to right and you can see different things that we've got here. For instance, we have a wood stud. And so you'll see a stud come into range right there. Over here, we have a steel stud and you'll see pictorial representation of a gray bar and it'll tell you it's a steel stud and you can find the center of it. Now, over here, we have three different things. The first one, we've mocked up this wall here. That is a piece of PEX full of water that is suspended down in the wall cavity. The second thing is a suspended area of conduit, steel conduit. And the third one is just regular Romex wire. So we're gonna come across and see what we see. As I come across, you got the wood stud here. Now let's see, does it pick up that water line? So now you have a purple water line, a representation saying it sees that object back there. Let's go over to the steel conduit and see what you get. You're either gonna see the purple, and that's most likely what it's gonna see, some kind of object behind the wall there. Okay? So now it's seen that object, and now we're gonna move to the right and come across wire that's in the wall. Okay, so now you see the wire, and these are all representations of the of distance, density, and that sort of thing. How the Wallabot is working, it's actually miniature radar. It was actually, the technology in this was invented 
to image in the human body. And there's some similarities of picking up a different density. So it's got a sender and receiver in this unit, sending out a single signal, seeing how long it takes and what the signal is coming back and then chooses what it is represented, what the object is. And as I come off to the right, you're gonna see the other studs over on the other side. So again, you're just gonna move across. You're gonna see all sorts of things happening behind the wall here. So the big advantage of the Wallabot is that it sees things other than studs, steel or metal studs, or the fasteners that it's being, uh, that are there it'll pick up other objects, plumbing, wiring, conduit. That's all in the images mode. Now, let's go ahead and choose the expert mode. The expert mode, don't let it fool you. You may think that what it's seeing is infrared because the image looks something like that, but all it's saying is there's density back there. So when I move back and forth here, you're gonna see that image change saying, hey, there's more or less there. And if I move across, let's suppose to a wood stud, it'll represent a lot of times, where's the center of that mass? So now you're seeing that. And let's do one other thing just to demonstrate. And that is live motion. So I've, if I move this over and I put it over the wire, you should see the wire here pretty soon, right there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wiggle the wire in live mode and let's see if you see movement on the screen. See there? It's seen it change as we go. So this is handy if you've got a loose wire, you're trying to identify from a place you've cut in, that sort of thing. Or, heaven forbid, you have a rodent infestation and you're trying to find out if you've got rats or mice running around behind a wall. Um, that, that can be used. We've actually heard of this being used uh, where there was an insect um, nest that was in there. I believe it was bees. Again, density would be different. You can see things moving. It is not reading heat. It's reading density and changes in density because of movement. So it can be very handy for that purpose. Okay, now you've seen how it works. If you want to get one of these, you can simply go to wallabot.com. At the time of filming, the unit itself right here was about $190. If you want to buy it in a kit, which includes their official authorized protective case here, the zip case, uh, then you should expect to pay about $240. Now, if you decide that this is outside of the range of your pocketbook or what you like to invest, you can check out this video where we give you some alternatives, inexpensive and highly effective stud finders that just help you find the studs. You can check that out. And while you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interests and we'd love it if you watch it too. Until the next time, I'm gonna go drill some holes in the wall.